Hello viewers, hello students, uh, welcome to the 5 day certification course on uh, HMI and robotics. Uh, in this video we are going to demonstrate <coughs> how to download the HMI uh, uh, Delta Delta HMI software for programming HMI and I'll also uh, demonstrate how to use the basic tools in this video. Uh, let us start with that. Uh, this video link, how to download the video link, uh, is uh, given in the uh, uh, description uh, box. Okay, uh, you can click on the link and uh, you can download the software. So once you download the software, it will be uh, saved in your computer. Uh, so yeah, so that is a zip file will be there. That is version four then you extract the file to the local folder so you will get this folder like this and double click on that and you just install the software it's very easy to install the software so okay please uh, proceed uh, uh, follow the procedure installation uh, because in my system is already installed okay i'm going i'm not going to install again so once installation is completed you will get a icon in the desktop like this DOP soft uh, 4.00.16 this is a version I am using <coughs> so once installation is completed so double click on the icon to open the software so here you have to select the new project and in the entire certification course, we are using a 7 inch HMI that is 107 BV model and select this model. And if you want, you can write the screen name, uh, then project name also you can change it. <coughs> Say, for example, project uh, 2 that's the name of the project. Screen 1 you can name it as, as per your requirement, for example, home screen. Home screen. Click on next. Next, uh, in, the, in the entire uh, certification course, uh, we are using RS485 communication, right? Uh, <coughs> and we are using Delta PLC, uh, then link one, let it be link one. And all other settings are same because same settings are there in the PLC also. Baud rate is 9600, data bits are 7 bits, so don't change the anything. And the password let it be one two three four five six seven eight up to eight. Okay, so click on finish to enter into programming mode. As I explained in the class, uh, this is uh, HMI is nothing but a display, and it will have multiple screens. So programming means here creating the screens as per the user requirement. So this is screen one. Let us see. I have uh, named it as a home screen, so it is appeared. The name of the screen is home screen now. Okay. So here, <coughs> uh, in the element sections, there are tools are available. Different types of buttons, meters, then bars, uh, pipes, pie chart, then indicators are there. Data displays there. Graphical displays there. Input is there. Curve is there. Keypad, list, analog frame and multimedia is there basic shapes are there drawing you can draw the desi uh, desired drawing you can draw using this so one by one features i will explain it <coughs> but here today what we discuss in the class so i'm going to uh, explain once again and uh, this video you can use it for uh, revision purpose let me start with a button there are different types of buttons are there Okay, one by one I'll take it. <coughs> Let us take uh, set on, set to on. The name of the button is set to on. Select it and then draw it according to the size required. Set on. Once you are using set to on, you have to use set to off. Okay, in order to switch off the output. 
so I've taken set on and set off, set to set to on and set to off. I've taken, and one in, in the indicator you can select a multi-state indicator. You can select, and then you put it. So here, this is a set to on button. So double click on it. Uh, we have to changes its appearance. Uh, its uh, style, all those things we can change it. So, for example, style uh, generally buttons uh, I like to have round. So, go to style and change it to round. So, it is appears in round and go to text. I want to label it as as a on button or on switch like that. Okay, this is the text will appear only in zero state. So, if you want uh, the text on 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 state also then you change it to state 1 and then again mention on okay so again you mention 0 here so go to the picture and you can add picture to that so go to the select three buttons option is there here three button option you just select it and then go to the under series in the uh, button general button there are various buttons are available different colors and uh, see different texture is there okay say for example I'll take one uh, uh, this button so this is the appearance when it's at zero state so this is what I wanted in zero state and this one I wanted in state number one the switch will have uh, two status on and off zero means off state one means on state and to fit onto the screen uh, to fit onto the button go to the uh, stretch all options so it is appear like this and the main thing is go to the main there you have to define the address so since i'm uh, i if it, for example if you don't have a plc you are working on uh, uh, only simulation software or only with the software you don't have hmi you don't have plc in that case uh, you have to type the select the address like uh, uh, go to the uh, link uh, go to the three button click on the uh, uh, three button and there <coughs> you, have, you can select uh, uh, as I am or you can also try internal memory and then you type uh, some value if it is not taking it then go to the link one option there you select M okay and then M0 enter okay then second switch also you have to improve the appearance here go in the menu you have to select the same address select M0 okay click on ok ok and then later on the for appearance you have to go to a style in the style you have to change it to round and in the text so I want it as off even in when you pressed also I want the text so go to change the status to one and then press and type again off and again go back to the zero state okay picture in the picture again same procedure click on the three button uh, on 100 series there is a general button is there so there I can select uh, like this this is I want it in zero state I want it in one state number one click on ok and then stretch mode is stretch all you make it click ok next is uh, in the output uh, that is indicator I have taken output double click on it then address also same thing that is change it to M0 enter then style I want it in round shape in the text I want it as say for example LED even when it is on I want the text also so LED so make it again zero state picture click on three button 
then in the ended series there is a lamp option so I want red in zero state then green in on state I click OK and make it uh, stretch mode as stretch all like this so this is a simple one <coughs> so go to the project and then offline mode project offline mode click on that so it's available see when you press on button LED status changed to green okay when you press off button LED change LED status change it to again red this is on this is off see the name uh, the set to on indicates that once it once set on switch is pressed continuously LED will be in on state so when it is going to off you have to press set to off state button so set to off uh, button should be operated in order to bring back the output to zero state or off state okay so this demonstrate the use of set to on set to off buttons and uh, multi-state indicator also uh, we understood multi-stater the name multi-stater indicates that um, the multiple states are possible so that I'll explain uh, when it comes to multi-state button uh, application. Okay. So now we understood uh, the set to on. Next is momentary is there. So I'm going to keep this so that we'll understand the difference between set to on. <coughs> I'm going to copy this and address I'll make it to 1 uh, M1 I'll make it only one changes address ok then go to the button and take the momentary button and keep it here double click on it and in the address I'll take M and then 1 in the style uh, I can take it as a round again and in the text I want it like S1 yes, it's a momentary switch even when on state also I want it like S1 yes, and again make it to 0 state go to the picture and the picture to take one gentle buttons like this, this is off state and this is on state click OK then in the, act in the stretch mode select stretch all then click OK so this is this is M1 this is M1 this is M0 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 ok let us see what happens go to the project offline mode if I press switch S1 see it is on as long as you press the switch S1 LED is green when you release it it is off this is momentary button whereas set to on is like this once it is on it remain on even if you release the switch so how to make it off you have to press the off button then only it is off so this is set to on this is set to off uh, uh, application and momentary switches is used where a pulse signal is generated just press the switch S1 and then release this is the understanding of momentary contact Okay. in the next upcoming videos we will discuss again uh, some more uh, uh, buttons understanding okay. uh,
thank you thank you viewers thank you students if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you